over America. We're bringing people to Hollywood, people who have something to say. On this show, they'll tell it to Groucho. Hey, that's me. I can. I've got my tie caught on my garter belt, and I can't stand up. Oh! That was my new assistant, Jackson Wheeler. And this is my other assistant, uh, Patty Harmon. Uh, no, Mr. Mark, she's Patty, and, and I'm Jack. Oh, well, I'm relieved to hear that, because if you were Patty, I, I'd quit the show right now. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to Tell It to Groucho. Let's get started and see what happens. Hello, Groucho. Mr. Marks, Beth and Betty Lawrence are here now. now what are you going to call me, Groucho or Mr. Marks? Mr. Marks, that's, that's better. You can call me Groucho if you want. It sounds more dignified. Then. And I'll call you if I had three aces and a pair of jacks. <laughs> well, Mr. Marks... Beth and Betty Lawrence are here now. And they're ready I don't to see them. And they're ready. Well, they're right out there. Oh. And they're ready to tell it to Groucho. Howdy, girls. Howdy. Howdy, girls. Sit down. Won't you sit down? Your names are Beth and uh, and uh, Betty, huh? That's right. The same last name, huh? Yeah, we're mother and daughter. Oh, really? Betty is a cute-looking dish, and oh. obviously she's your daughter. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, I'm just an old flatterer. No, no, we know that. I have a way with the girls. Oh. I wish I could trade it in for one that works. <laughs> All right, we know who you are. Now, what is it you girls have to tell me? Which part of our vast, unseen audience are you trying to appeal to? To the men. The men? Eh? You want to you wanna talk to a man, is that it? No, we... What do you think you're talking to now? A South American anteater? <laughs> we're looking... What is it you want to say oh, to the we're man? we're looking uh, for, uh, for a real nice husband. Oh, I thought... Oh, mm -hmm. husband. Yeah. Husband yeah, we want nice. them to meet... Uh, Whose husbands are you looking for? Yeah. And, uh, well, we're looking How many husbands would you like? One, two... One apiece will do. One apiece will do. If they meet... Uh -huh. uh, well, you're both the attractive. Right uh, are you having any trouble finding husbands? Well... You have to have specific uh, qualifications, isn't it? Right. Uh -huh. So tell me what they are. What are these uh, qualifications that you desire? Well, they have to love good music and uh -huh. um, be fond of cats. They must be fond of cats. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's and a must do. And have five thousand dollars. I got to have five thousand dollars too in cash. Now wait a minute. Let me get this straight. <laughs> <laughs> you want a fellow who likes cats, music, and money? That's right. right. All three. I mean, no, just. Just the fellow for you. you know. I'll, I'll tell you how rich he is. Last Sunday, on Sunday, mind you, he called a plumber. Oh. <laughs> now, I know this fellow likes music because he happens to manufacture violins. Oh. And I know he likes cats because that's where he gets the violin string. Oh. <laughs> this is true, yes. This man has got more guts than the last guy. <laughs> Get any of ours. Got more guts than the last man who fought Patterson. Well, anyway, they yeah. can't get any of ours. Anyway. I wish you wouldn't hop on the joke either. <laughs> they wouldn't get any of ours either. I just about got it out anyhow. Yeah. Well, jump in the middle. Anyway, no violin strings in ours because we love our cats. Well, I can understand your love for music and even the five grand, but uh, why do you insist that he like cats? Well, because. Uh... Uh, people that love cats, why, well, I think if you don't love a cat... People love cats shouldn't throw stones, no, isn't that listen, it? if you don't love a cat, then you can't love a human being. That's and the way I figure. you have to be good to the little creatures in order to be good to the big ones. And besides, really? people that love cats are very honest. Very. Well, I love human beings, and I, I also happen to like mice. Well, don't you like cats? <laughs> 
Okay, anyway, he's got the love cat, sir. That's right. They now, what kind have. of a cat do you have? A cat? We have 13. You have 13 cats? Yeah, 13 cats. Mm -hmm. I hope you live on the beach. No, we live in the Hollywood Hills. We live in the Hollywood Hills. What kind of cats do you have in this glass menagerie? Oh, we oh. have white Persians with blue eyes and a two chinchillas. And... Blue eyes? Uh huh. You mean like Jack Benny? Uh huh. Blue, blue, blue eyes. Benny. Blue. Oh, the bluest eyes. They got eyes more you've hair than seen. Benny, haven't yeah. they? Oh, yeah. gee, the uh, bluest eyes you've ever seen. And Jack Benny eyes. catches mice. Too. We have yeah. one Siamese, a blue point Siamese. <laughs> you have a Siamese? Uh huh, a blue point. Uh, we have. A... No, aren't they twins, Siamese? Uh, no, no, it's not cats. Uh, no? Siamese came from Siam originally. That's yeah. a breed. They've only been out of the jungle about sixty-three years. That's why. That's what I've heard, you know. Who told you that? Well, I've read that, you know. Where? We we've read all the articles in Cats magazine and you all. You read? Around. Do you read Siamese? Oh uh, well, we, no, no, it's not written in Siamese. No, it was not written in English. It's written in English. It's just, you oh. know. Well, how many males and how many females do you have? Uh, we have four males and uh, nine females. Well, how come? It's so lopsided. Then. Well, it happened that way. Well, they're not all uh, married, you know. I mean, after all, uh, they don't have to be. Well, are any of them engaged? <laughs> not at the present time, but who knows? It's just possible. You have all kinds of cats uh, around midnight. That back fence of yours must sound like those cats are doing the twist on a hot tin roof. <laughs> We don't allow our cats out at night. They're under lock and key. Oh. Oh, they're valuable cats. But aren't there other cats around who are trying to well, get at your yes, cat? Well, yes, that's right. Do, they no. don't, though. They come around and, meow, pretty cat, come out. You know, they'll do Now, is this your cat doing it? No, that's an, another cat. That's, that's the an cat. alley cat. Are these are uh, alley cats? Yeah, but believe alley me. Alley cats. Wasn't he the head of the Arabian government or something? <laughs> But I tell you one thing, I, we won't let our cats out to meet them. I wouldn't. You know, because ours are very special oh, cats. I see. Well, in order to cut down uh, here and come down here tonight, how many cat sitters did you have to engage for this menagerie of yours? None. We brought our cats. Yeah. We brought them all. You mean... You brought them all here You've got them with you? you? Yeah, to see you. You mean there are 13 cats backstage? That's yeah. right. If I'd That's have known right. this, I'd have had a double allergy shot. <laughs> But double scotch and double bourbon. <laughs> That's what you call a real catnip. You don't want to get allergies from these cats, though. They're, no. they're good cats. Well, what can you get from these cats? Oh, well, they're very special, you mm -hmm. know. You just, they look Lots pretty. And what do you nice. feed them, just mice? No, we don't feed. Our cats never tasted a mouse. They're they very... Well, nice well, these liver. cats haven't lived. Oh, yeah. they have. They have, too. They like uh, meat and liver. liver and cat food uh -huh. and milk. Yeah. They like the best of everything. Well, uh, this is an experience I can't avoid. So, Betty, why don't you trot off and drag out these pussy cats? All right. And get Jack Wheeler to help you, huh? Okay. Now, Bet, mm. that's that's you, huh? Mm -hmm. that's Let's right. get back I'm, to that five thousand bucks. Why is it so necessary? <laughs> Why is it necessary for each of the unfortunate candidates to have five thousand dollars in cash? You did say that, didn't you? Yes. Uh, well, if we could. Uh, find a real good man that had $2,500 a piece, we might settle for that. <laughs> Those are pretty, aren't they, huh? Oh, let's see. This is uh, Haji Baba here. Well, introduce me. Eyes. Introduce me to your friends. Uh. I will, and I this want you to is, see uh, it. And you men out there, take a good look at your future yeah, yeah. in-laws. <laughs> now, this is Haji Baba Haji with the real Baba. blue eyes, yes. And this one is, uh, her show name is Precious Jade, but she's really Dipsy Doodle. Dipsy Doodle. Uh-huh. And uh, see what lovely stripes she has. In, 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 in do, do you have any favorites? Oh, well, we like Haji Baba. He, uh, well, do the other cats bit. know that you favor Haji Baba? Well, we don't want, him, want them to feel yeah. bad. We just don't tell them about it, you uh -huh. know, but... Uh, Couldn't you tell them in Siamese? Well, no, he doesn't like Siamese, you know. He likes the Persian. Now, which know? is the, this one over there? Tell me about him. What's his specialty? That's Tiger Jr. Has he ever seen... Oh. <laughs> Give me Barbette and Sally. Oh, you Betty. Oh, here comes a lot of them. Come on, baby. Now, this one here is, uh, this is mischief right this here. Yeah. Oh, are these related, these two? Say, where is her Oh. Are these two related? No, they're no relation, even How though they have know? blue eyes. Huh? Well, this one is mischief. I know because I know where this one came from, and I know where this one I came from. I know where they all came from, but how do you know? <laughs> Because uh, they're, 
there's a difference. This is a male and this is a female. And, oh, come now. Uh, With cats, it doesn't make any difference. Wait, here's another one. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, here is... Uh, I don't want this Who one is this? To get this away. Haji Baba? No, this is Dolly Oh, I'll Dolly. hold him. I'll hold him. Oh, well, you hold oh, Dolly down. You drag him up here. Huh? Now, Betty, I, I hate to switch the subject. Oh, this is Dolly. <laughs> here, bring Suki over here. Suki? Yeah, Suki. We, have a, we had a cat named Suki. Oh, Suki's a darling. Yeah, he got run over by a mouse. Suki? <laughs> Suki's a blue point Siamese. Now, Betty, I hate to switch the subject, but I haven't had much chance to talk to you. Specifically, what kind of a husband uh, would you like to have? Well, uh, first of all, I don't want a stuffed shirt. You don't want a, a fox terrier? A stuffed shirt. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what Betty wants. Well, she I wants want somebody to come home and <laughs> and like to uh, come around and roll on the floor with him and just, you yeah, know, act natural. Like one like Marlon Rondo, you know. Yeah. Like, he loves cats. You want a cat like him? Yeah. See, he, he you loves cats. You want a cat that looks like Marlon Brando? No. <laughs> now, how do you know Marlon Brando likes cats? Because we've seen because, it many times over. And right? I have many Put pictures at home here. of him with cats. She, and besides the nice People love cats. Yeah, after the all. nicest one. You know, a person can hate cats and still be a, a wonderful person. Look uh, at Mrs. Always. Cats. <laughs> mm, well. Now, Bet, why don't you put an ad in the newspaper? Oh, we don't have time to read the newspaper. Well, I'm, I'm surprised to hear that. I'm sure you have plenty of papers laying all over the floors. In there. <laughs> You know? No, got away. Uh, there goes Hazel. Hazel got away. That's all right. If he gets out, that'll be more where he came from. Huh? <laughs> no, we don't want Hazel to get away. Hazel, she broke the leash. Now, Beth. She broke her leash. Yeah. Somebody better hold Hazel. No, huh? <laughs> Jack, hold Hazel. <laughs> I think Hazel's going nuts. Uh, <laughs> Hazel, Hazel nuts. Well, there is a Hazel. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, now, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> now, if one of you got married uh, and and you had to separate, how how would you divide the cats? Well, we'd split them. <laughs> you split the whole thirteen cats? Well, we we would split take thirteen. Half and she'd I'd take half. She'd you take... mean you'd be sitting home with six and a half cats? And... <laughs> I take seven. She could she'd, take. I take seven, and she'd take six. Well, that's not uh, fair. You you'd have more cats well, than she had. Well, we have had. to get another one then to well, specify. Well, it wouldn't be fact, difficult. Just fact, talk to Haji Baba. You take fact, care of it. I love my cats so much. I probably want to take them on a honeymoon with me. Uh, I should think really? so. You mean instead of your husband? No, the husband and the cat. You would take the cat on your husband. Your husband yes. would be crazy about it. He'd have to love him. Yeah. Can't now, put Jack, up here? the hackles are beginning to rise on the back of my neck. Would you mind removing... <laughs> Would you mind removing Tiger Tiger from here? Oh, leave this one here. He's cute. Oh, Just leave this one. Huh? I, I like this one. I like the respect he shows to the audience. <laughs> Can you imagine when Betty gets married and she tells her husband to lock the door and put the cat out? Not He'd be out there until three in the morning. <laughs> well, I, I, I you have to be would. a nice person. Well, man, you can't find a bargain like this all over. Yeah, you can't find it in the mail order catalog. That's Baba John there, the yeah. big cat. There. Yeah, that's and Red, girls. Redbird. Girls, listen to me for a second. Will you stop mumbling just for a little bit? <laughs> When these thousands of proposals start pouring in for you two girls, we'll turn them over to you, and you can work it out between yourself and your 13 cats, huh? Oh, wonderful. And now we're going to give you a chance to win some money. Well, okay. Now we I have don't... a screen up here. Well, we'd like to leave a few here well, that are acting nice, you know, a yeah. few. You want to leave cats. a few? Uh-huh, that would act nice, you leave know. Leave this one here, because... Did uh, they take his or I, I admire this cat's judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Now. What's this one's name? That's oh, Dolly can you Dunn. tell from the rear end? No. <laughs> the Dolly Don. Let's huh? see, some of them are under here now. That's yeah. Sally. That's Sunshine Sally there. Oh, well, put her away, and later I'll sing, I wonder what became of Sally. Well, you see, I wonder what becomes of Sally. Listen, uh, Betty, that's uh, mischief there. Why don't you leave mischief? She acts so nice. Maybe mischief. we could just put mischief there. 
She looks so pretty. Oh, Cindy Lou wants to stay, too. She likes you. It's fine. Can we, can we proceed now with this game we're going to play and give yeah. you a chance you to win some money? Yeah, you see this cat? Uh, she, she's born under the sign of Leo. Isn't well, that that's nice? good. <laughs> that, that makes me very happy. I'm glad you told me that. <laughs> Here, she, she has her emblem, too. She's on the side of the fishes. They're all, they're all beautiful. She loves fish. She's on the side of the fishes. One of the most interesting conversations I've never had. <laughs> what are you doing? Basket weaving out there? Look what a nice cat you've got for so I'll take them home, this one, and then you'll only have 12 even in oh. case one of you get married. Well, now that's a nice one. Well, Hop in there, Haji Baba. <laughs> now, I'll keep this one because yeah. these okay. two fight. And uh, the rest of them are minding real well. Okay. Which is oh, this one in there? Are we all set now? Yes. Now, we're going to play a game. You understand how we play this game? No. No. No, well, I don't know. <laughs> I want to ask you, have you understood anything that I've said here tonight? <laughs> because if you have, you, you were way ahead of me. Oh. <laughs> now, we're going to we gonna we flash a... a little confusing, of yes, course. Yes, I know. <laughs> Well, the top of the morning to you. Huh? We're going to fly. This is a screen up here. Now, uh, could you keep your trap shut for just... <laughs> We're going to flash a picture on here. And if you identify this picture in one-eighth of a second, you're going to split $1,000 between you. That's a mighty short time, though. Well, that's true, but it's mighty big money. Yeah. You can buy an awful lot of liver and onions for these pussy cats. Well, how about cat food and everything? Cat, cat food and everything. Thirteen cats very expensive, you know, yes. to keep well, it's up. Th Fifteen cats in a dead man's chest, isn't that it? <laughs> You're holding a bottle of rum, eh? Yeah, but it takes more than a bottle of rum for Will a you cat. keep just quiet for a second? <laughs> Why haven't, you, why haven't you got your own show? <laughs> Which we did have, then we'd show our cats every well, day. Well, by the end of this spot, you will have your own show. <laughs> All right, we're going to splash it up here now. Now, watch this and concentrate on this. And st stop being so talkative, just for oh, a few. Right. I want you to win some money here now. Eh? I wish we would, because we need it. <laughs> okay, are you ready? We're going to put it on for one-eighth of a second, and if you get it right, you'll split $1,000 or 13 cats. Are you ready? Go. Well, who was it? You can talk it over, you know. Your father and son. But that was such a short flash. That, that's I didn't true. Get <laughs> well, obviously, you don't know who it is. I'll try it again. This time, I'm going to give you half a second. You ready? Go. You can talk to each other, you know. Maybe the cat, maybe Haji Baba knows. Yes, what is he? Well, we probably won't get him. All right, now I'm going to put it up this time. I'm going to put it up for a whole second. And if you get it this time, you'll win $250. Are you ready? Go. Oh, I've seen it, but I don't know who it was. But I, really, I can't remember his well, name. Well, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll tell you who that was. That was Lowell Thomas. Oh. And you should have known that because this is a tomcat. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'd oh, like to... Oh, we're going to put in a, we're going to put a picture up now, and if you get this right, you'll win $50. $50? 50, I know. <laughs> okay, we'll split 100 between you. How's that? You'll each what get What about 50. the cats? Don't take it <laughs> Each of the cats gets a dollar. No, well, it takes more than that. Well, that's, that's all you're going to get. Now wait. <laughs> now, wait. You don't get anything yet. You've got to guess this. Now, watch this. The same ready? man? Go. What is that? That's a map. Map of what? United States. United States. Yeah, that's right. United States. You've each won. You've won $113. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You didn't see that. Hey there. He likes me. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't win, Walt, but uh, we had a lot of fun, and you got a chance to talk, and that's the main thing. <laughs> Thanks to both of you for telling it to Groucho. Maybe we'll get some cat food ads or something. Well, now, I'm sure they're... I don't they're, think uh, I can take the... I'll take you, know, you want me to take them? Well, you take the little silver tabby okay. here. Okay. Oh, okay.
wait a minute. Okay. This isn't Haji Baba, huh? No. Oh, wait a minute. I don't okay. know if she'll... I'll take him for a catwalk. He'll go up and kill him. <laughs> Mr. Marks, Mr. George Chatterton is here now. Who? Mr. George Chatterton. Chatterton? Yes, sir. And he's going to... It's a strange name for a man, isn't it? Chatterton? Yeah. I don't know any men by the name of Chatterton. No. You know anybody by the name of George? My grandfather's name is George. No, but not, not Chatterton, huh? No. No. Same, you can get him to change his last name, so you'll know somebody named George Chapman. <laughs> okay. Okay, you, uh, you uh, And he's here to tell it to Groucho. <laughs> sit down. Your name is George Shatterton, huh? That's right, Groucho. Now, what's, what's on your mind? What do you want to tell me? Well, I was born well, in New York. Where are you from, George? Well, I was born on the east side, raised on the west side, New York City. East side of what? New York City. Oh. And I've been I thought traveling. you were describing two bottles of beer. <laughs> and I've been traveling ever since. Uh-huh. Why? Was there someone chasing you? Well, not quite, but I... You know, I think, Groucho, that uh, America's not smiling, not laughing enough. Uh-huh. You mean, you're referring to the night? No, not the night. No. That's one thing. You're a doctor of medicine. Uh-huh. Well, thank you. You give the country what they need, a laugh. Oh, that's right. Of course, this won't help you when we get to the quiz, but uh, <laughs> it can't do you any harm. <laughs> now, what's the matter with people? What's well, everybody problem? seems depressed. They walk around, nobody smiles enough. Well, I think America silly. should dress up and smile. Grin, you mean? Grin, go around, look like they're happy and not feel no. like they're depressed. They're in the That's greatest right. country I, in the world. I think it's true. I think laugh and the world laughs with you. Cry and you go on Queen for a day. <laughs> Oh, what is your, what is your, uh, what do you expect, expect to do about it? Well, I... Uh, bottle laughs and sell them like vitamin pills? No, if I may, I'd like to ask you a favor. Uh-huh. Shoot, go right ahead. May I borrow your orchestra? Borrow them? You can have them. <laughs> I'll give it to you. But go ahead. What do you, what do you want them to play? When you're smiling. Megan, have you got when you're smiling? Sure. All right, give it to them. Say! Makes me good, all right. <laughs> I think you got something there. Thank you, Gracia. I wish you'd keep it there. <laughs> no, I think that that's, that's a very good philosophy you've got there, and people should laugh more. Now, you were so happy. We're going to give you a chance to win some money, and I hope you win some money here, so you'll be even happier. Thank you. That doesn't mean you have to sing that song again. <laughs> now, we're going to flash something on here, and we're going to show it to you. And we're going to leave it on for an eighth of a second. And if you guess it correctly, you're going to win $500. And I hope you do. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Fire away. You get it? I what, think so. What is it? That's a... Uh, well, not a saxophone, but it's a long deal in the sax section. 
What is it? It's a tuba. A tuba. You were close. You were close. It's a bassoon. Bassoon. Well, I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> all right, we'll start all over. Keep smiling. <laughs> well, give me another chance. It's even better this time. <laughs> Look, I took a chance there, too. You, know. <laughs> you got another one out there? Yeah, All right, we're going to try it again. We're going to start again with 500. Because you lost already, you know. You were up to 250. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yes, sir. One eighth of a second, we're going to put this on. Get it. That's the Washington Monument. Is that right? Well, you just went five minutes out. I want to say something to you, George, man to man. Don't you think you ought to split that with me? <laughs> you know, you would only have had 250 or even less. Do you think you would have guessed it again the second time? Well, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. Well, send me $250. <laughs> Congratulations, George. Thank you, George. Thank you for being on the show. I'm glad you won the five hundred dollars. Thank you. 